Text typed into a spreadsheet usually continues in a straight line and exceeds the right hand side of the cell. To prevent this, click the small box in the top left corner to highlight the whole document. Go to Format Cells and select Alignment. Leave horizontal as it is, change vertical to top, tick the wrap text box. Now type in any cell and the text will wrap round when it reaches the right hand cell margin. As you add text, your columns retain the same width but your rows get larger and larger. You can adjust this by making columns wider. Move the cursor to the top row of column headings then click in the column that you want to highlight. With the column still highlighted, move the cursor to the right hand vertical border of the column header and you'll see the cursor changes shape. Hold the mouse button down and drag the column to the width you require. You can highlight several columns and then go to any of the vertical borders in the highlighted area and drag. All the columns will expand and stay the same width as each other. We adjust row height in the same way that we adjusted column width. If you want to type a lot into a cell you may want to use paragraph breaks. You can't do this in the usual way just by pressing the enter or the return key but you can do it in Windows by holding down the alt key and pressing return and you can do it on the Apple Mac by pressing down the alt and the command key and pressing return. You can also reduce the size of the font in your table in order to keep more words on each line. Grid lines help the reader follow the rows and the columns in a table. Headings can use a slightly larger font, making the headings bold, centering and then shading them. When you create word tables, row heights expand to fit the largest cell. So when everything is typed in, it may be worth adjusting the widths of columns in order to make best use of the space in your table. When the table looks as you want it, highlight it, copy it as a picture and then insert it into your document. And this may require you to make a landscape section within your document so you can accommodate the wider picture.